The call came in as an alligator walking in the dog park. When Bruce Dangerfield spotted the creature... I said, that's an owl monitor. That's even worse than an alligator. Dangerfield chased the long lizard into a tree and shot it with a dart gun. He kept the corpse. Fish and wildlife officers want to inspect it. That's because Nile monitors don't belong here. They're on the state's list of exotic and invasive species. They get quail eggs. They get, you know, baby baby anything. Uh, birds, ground-dwelling birds. They get... Um, they could eat baby kittens, baby puppies. I mean, they're, they're just, they're, there's nothing they won't eat, maybe a tin can or something. This is the third Nile monitor Dangerfield has killed in the last year and a half. The Vero Beach Police Animal Control Officer found the other two about a quarter mile from here. Dangerfield believes there are Nile monitors breeding in Vero Beach. Nile monitors can grow to twice this size, and Dangerfield says every part of their body is dangerous. They can whip their tail, they can put your eye out with their tail. They can rip your arms up with their claws, and if they bite you, you're on the way to the hospital. That's why so many ended up in the wilds of Florida to begin with. Pet owners who grew tired of the large, aggressive lizards let them go. Billy Reese found one in his backyard a few years ago. Reese says he'll be watching out to make sure the lizards don't get lizzy. If they around anywhere and all, if I see them, I'll sure keep her away from it. She'd make a good Sunday meal for one. In Vero Beach, Carolyn Schofield, WPTV News Channel 5.